The movie begins by showing a house built on an island, where a wonderful author named Ted and his family live. Ted lives here with his wife, Marion, and their daughter, Ruth. And we see that the wall in his house is full of pictures of his sons, Tom and Timmy. Then we learn that both his sons have died in a car accident a few years ago. And Marion hasn't recovered from the shocks yet. And since then till now she is living in depression. Ted on the other hand is into his work. And Ted's daughter, Ruth, is looked after by her babysitter, Alice. And Ruth learns of her brother's deaths. That's why she always keeps looking at the pictures of her dead brothers. Later we see, one day Ted hires an assistant for himself. Whose name is Eddie I. So that the assistant can do small tasks for him and can also act as a driver for him. Because Ted's driving license was revoked three months back. Ted later tells Marion about his assistant Eddie I. And both of them talk for some time. Then we come to know that there is a lot of relationship distance between them. Ever since the death of their sons, there has been a lot of distance in the relationship between them. And Marion, being in shock, doesn't talk much. Now seeing their relationship in such a state, Ted tells Marion. That we should stay away from each other for some time. And Marion agrees. Later she goes to stay in a hotel in the city. And that very night, Ruth is horrified by a dream. And Ruth goes to Ted and tells him about her dream. Ted then tells her a story and puts her to sleep. And Ted begins writing a book about Ruth's dream. The next morning Marion goes to pick up Eddie I. Because today Eddie I is about to start his assistant job. Then Eddie I comes and sees. That instead of Ted, his wife has come to pick him up. Then when Eddie I sees Marion, he finds her very beautiful. And they also get very attracted towards him. And after Marion drops Eddie I off at Ted's house, she goes to her hotel. And Ted meets with Eddie I, and tells him about the job. And also tells him this. That from now on you will have to live in this house. Actually Eddie I admires Ted a lot. And like Ted, he also wants to be a successful writer. So Eddie I is very happy to be here. And Ted shows him the whole house. And while doing so, he also tells her about his deteriorating marriage life. Thus Marion and he are living apart from each other. And we also learn that Marion lives in a hotel and a day house. So that Ruth can get the love of both the parents. Eddie I then meets Alice, Ruth's babysitter. She is very nice girl. And apart from writing Ted books, he also does paintings. And he always makes nude paintings. And for that Ted has hired a model named Evelyn. Then the next day Marion comes here. And Eddie I also follows them to the theater. This meets Eddie I Marion. And tells him. That he had come here to eat. Because he doesn't get food from Ted at home. After hearing this, Marion tells him. One day I want to take you to dinner. Same night when Eddie I comes back home. So he starts cheering himself up by looking at Marion's photo. But then Ted and Ruth would be there too. And Eddie I would have narrowly escaped. Next day when Marion comes here. Eddie I then follows her to a beach. And then Eddie I falls silent and looks at Marion in a bikini. He then comes home to see Marion's undergarments. And then he starts amusing himself. But then Marion comes home. And Marion sees Eddie I doing it. And Marion says sorry to Eddie I. That he should have come knocking on the door. Now Eddie I is very ashamed to have been caught like this. But Marion tells him off. That he is not angry with her. And so does everyone at his age. Then Eddie I tells Marion. From that day he saw Marion. Since then he thinks about her. Hearing this, Marion does not say anything and remains silent. The next day, Eddie I drops Ted low off at Evelyn's house, only to find that Marion has left her bikini in her room for Eddie I. Then that evening, Marion goes to dinner with Eddie I. And Marion Eddie I talks a lot. Marion asks Eddie I. Don't you take Alice on a date? Which is called Eddie I. That Alice is not interested in him. Now after talking like this for a long time both come home. The next day Marion comes to Eddie I's room. And then she tells Eddie I the story behind all the pictures in the walls. Now by telling this, Marion seduces Eddie I. And they both become intimate. The next day Ted goes to a place with Eddie I. Where Ted tells the story of his book to some people. Eddie I then learns that all of Ted's stories are based on his own life. After that both of them are coming home. So Ted thanks Eddie I, because according to him, after Eddie I's visit, Marion is happy after a long time. Now a few days later one night Ruth comes to Marion's room. Ruth then witnesses Eddie I and Marion getting intimate. Seeing this, Ruth starts crying. And Marion calms him down. Now Ted has also come to know about this affair. And then Ted talks to Eddie I about it in the car the next day. Ted tells her. This is what I want when Marion and I get divorced. That you testify on my behalf against Marion and explain your proposal. So that I can get custody of Ruth. Now after hearing all this Eddie I asks Marion. Because he's still with Ted. Which Marion tells. That Ted is a great father. And he takes good care of Ruth too. And Marion also tells this. That she really hates Ted's painting habit. And in the beginning it also used to make nude pictures of Marion. Now some days pass like this. And one day Eddie I asked Marion how their children had an accident. After hearing this, Marion again remembered her dead sons. 
and then she doesn't say anything. The night Eddie and I were showing Ruth all the pictures. Ruth then asks to take a picture in her room. And Marion agrees. But Ruth drops the picture. And his finger has been cut by the broken glass. Eddie I and Marion take her to the doctor. And then when Ted finds out about it. Then Ted scolded Eddie I a lot. So he gave that picture to Ruth. Whereas this work belonged to Marion. At night, Ruth starts crying again after having a nightmare. Her Ted tries to calm her down a lot, but she doesn't calm down. After this Marion comes there. And then she calms Ruth down. Seeing this, Ted becomes aware. That after the divorce, Ruth should stay with Marion because Ruth would be happy there. The next day, while Marion is getting intimate with Eddie I, Marion suddenly starts crying. And then Marion Eddie I explains. That she is soon going to leave all this and go somewhere. That same day, Ted hires Eddie I to go to Evelyn's house and return all her paintings. Because now Ted's mind was full of Evelyn. When Eddie I goes to Evelyn's house. Knowing this, Evelyn gets very angry. And tells Eddie I. That Ted has to come see her on Friday. But in the meantime, Evelyn accidentally closes the door of her house. And only then Eddie I breaks the window of her house and goes inside. In the evening, Marion tells Eddie I. That on Friday you will drop Ted off at Evelyn's house, but not bring him back. By doing so, it would be evening for Ted to come home on his own. At such a time, taking all the pictures of my sons, I will leave from here forever. And then the next day when Eddie I takes Ted to Evelyn's house. Evelyn was very angry. He tore up all the paintings Ted sent him. And then Eddie I leaves Ted at Evelyn's house and comes back home. Marion then sends Ruth with Eddie I to see the doctor. Because if Ruth is here, she will not be able to leave. On the other hand, Evelyn follows Ted's life. And Evelyn even tries to run over Ted with her car. But Ted runs to the beach. Eddie I goes to the pictures shop here after getting Ruth's stitches removed. Or he was given that broken picture to fix. Going there Eddie I asked him for that picture today. Because she knew that when Ruth reached home, she would be mad not to see her mother in the picture. But when Eddie I asked for that picture. So the manager here refused to give Eddie I the picture. On which Eddie I writes a letter to them explaining the whole thing. He also tells them about his and Marion's affair. And hearing all this the manager is inside. She also gives pictures. Ted, on the other hand, runs into a bookstore. Or he had many friends. And start giving them their autographs. Here Ted's eyes are fixed on two young women. Who was his big fan. Asks them. Can she drop him at his house? Both the girls take him to their house first. Where Ted changed his clothes. Ted then tells the girls and their mother. That he wants to paint it. And for this they all happily agree. After this Ted comes home early with the help of girls. And coming home early, he sees Marion leaving. Then Ted turns to her. But that doesn't work and Marion leaves for New York forever. After some time Eddie I comes here with Ruth. Ted got very angry with Eddie I. And then slaps him, but instead Eddie I gets a punch in the nose. Because Marion told him to do so. Eddie I tells Ted. That Marion is gone somewhere forever now. Along with this, all the pictures of Marion's sons have also been taken. And now Ted doesn't have any pictures of his sons left. Now that Ted has come to know about all this. He then fires Eddie I from his job. And asks him to leave from here only tomorrow. Ruth becomes very difficult to handle after Marion leaves. And so their babysitter Alice quits as well. Now Ted was very sad about all this. And tells Eddie I in the evening. This is how their children's accident happened. Actually that night these people went on the skin. And Mary and Ted and his two sons were intoxicated by alcohol. The other son was driving the car at that time. Who didn't even have much driving experience. There was ice on the headlights and backlight of the car. Forgot to clean up like Ted. And due to not being able to see the car, a truck collided with his car on the highway. In which both his sons died. To ease this suffering, she gave birth to Ruth, but this did not change anything. Now Eddie I feels very bad after listening to this story. But he did not understand this. How can a mother leave her daughter? Now the next day, Evelyn's servant comes to see Ted. And tells him. Now Evelyn has fired him from his job. Upon hearing this, Ted hires him as a driver. And here he employs his wife as a cook and Ruth's babysitter. Eddie I then goes back to his house after saying goodbye to Ted. Evelyn's servant and his wife have taken good care of Ruth. And this is where the film ends.